Step 1. Add your clips and your audio. Adjust your clips so that they are on beat. To make sure your clips are on beat select your audio and go to match cut. Press a beat on each of the beats and then adjust your clips accordingly. Step 2. Add coloring. Select your clip and go to adjust. Do contrast 20, exposure negative 20, and sharpen 100. Then press apply to all. This will work for most clips, but some clips will become very dark. Just go back to adjust and increase the brightness to fix this. Step 3. Go to effects and add two vertical blurs and one shake. Adjust both vertical blurs to 70 and the shake's intensity to 7. Make the effects the smallest they can be and place them in between two of your clips. Repeat this with all of your clips. Step 4. Add a white overlay. Adjust the overlay to the full size of your clip and increase its size so it fills the entire screen. Select the overlay and then click splice and then overlay. From here, you have three options. Option 1. Select the overlay, go to animation, select out and fade out. Make sure to put the duration on max. Option 2 and 3. Add a keyframe at the start and end of the overlay. On the second keyframe, scroll to opacity and make it 0. Now, Go to Graphs and select either Ease in 1 or Ease out 1. Repeat this process for all your clips. I mainly use Option 1, but Option 2 and 3 both work well so it's up to you. Step 4. Add a keyframe to the start and end of your clip. On the second keyframe scroll to Opacity and set it to 0. Then go to Graphs and select Ease in 1. Repeat this with all of your clips. Step 5. Select your clip, go to Animation, select In, and then select Rock vertically. On your next clip go back to Animation, but choose Rock horizontally. Alternate between Rock vertically and Rock horizontally for all of your clips. Disclaimer: The animations won't fit every single video, so if you think the animations don't fit then don't use them.